Hello everyone. So today we are going to be making a sketchbook and what you will need is 10 pieces of paper, copy paper, just regular printer paper and just things that you print with. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just put the extra away. Nice and neat. Notice I kind of tapped them on the on the paper there. You need some sort of cover for your sketchbook so you can decorate it later. Sometimes I need a pencil, sometimes I need two different card markers. That's on you, how you feel about that. And then you need a glue stick and you need scissors. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to take your 10 pieces of paper and you are going to split the stack in half. So you have two different piles, five and five. So one, two, three, four and five. Okay, so I have two piles. And then this one obviously is one, two, three, four, five. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure it's a landscape style in front of you. And notice I still have all five and I'm going to fold them over. I make sure I line up the corners first, hold it down and then I smush. I like using a, a marker to really rub out the edges. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. Just line up the corners and I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to rub Okay, so now you have two different papers. Two stacks, ready to go. And what I'm gonna do with my pink marker is I'm gonna actually open up the one, the first pile here of five. And in the, in the middle here, I'm gonna make two lines like that. Okay, so I have my pink pile. I'll even make a little dot for you so you know it's pink pile. And I made those lines in the middle of my spine because that's where I'm going to cut. This is your key to your lock, right? So next I'm going to take pile two, still have five pieces of paper just folded together. This is my green pile. And notice I have nothing in the... in the stack but I'm gonna actually draw on the spine on the outside notice that and I'm gonna make a rectangle and with my rectangle and my two lines inside my two stacks you're gonna cut those out so notice I'm cutting with the inside of my scissors not the tips because you don't eat with your front teeth, you eat with the back part of your teeth, and it's the same with scissors, and you can actually cut further. Then you just have trash, so you can throw that out. But you notice that with the green rectangle pile, there's a hole, there's like a lock. And so with your pink pile, the one with all of the other five papers together, you're going to cut on that pink line cut. Notice I didn't cut all the way through. All right, and you are done with your scissors. So now I have a pink pile that has two cuts and I have a green pile that has like a rectangle cut. And what you guys are going to do is you're going to notice that my pink pile is still, you see that the lines are still straight and they're going up and down and I'm actually rolling half towards me and half away. Notice I still have five in my hand, okay? Um, I noticed that a lot of people have struggled and they were like trying to roll it like left to right. Nope, you don't wanna do that. You wanna do one half that's up and then down kind of like a burrito. You have to make sure, there. And then you're gonna open up your st other stack of five, the green pile, and you're going to push half of those papers through. Notice I didn't 
fold these, I just rolled them. And that's because you don't want crinkly folded sketchbook paper. And I fold it out, let it go, fold it over, and you have the inner parts of your sketchbook. So now that we have our inner parts of the sketchbook, we have to put our covers on. So that's when I got construction paper that's a little bit bigger. You might have cardstock paper, you might have um, any sorts of cover paper. Uh, I know that people have used cardboard before, um, but I like this way, it works, it suits for me the best. So I'm gonna glue my cover. Notice I folded my cover in half just like before and I literally am just gonna quickly glue all over my inside okay I'm gonna put my name miss E that looks like an M but that's okay and you're gonna pick it up I'm going to hold it halfway Line up the spine, because you notice I have to have my sketchbook open. Lay it down. And then you can rub it together. Dun dun, and you have a sketchbook. You might have to let it dry a little bit, but that's okay. And then you can also put your class code. I'm gonna do 5K. And then I'm gonna put my name nice and visible and clear on the front and then you can go ahead and decorate the front and even the back okay and that's it for today and doing your sketchbook